Hey friends, I'm Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are going to talk about global goal number four, which is quality education. Sing it, Gregory. Quality education. And here to talk about it with us is Broadway performer and choreographer, Luis Salgado. Hola, Luis. Hola. So we are here at Open Jar Studios, mm -hmm. which is one of the fabulous places to rehearse in New York City, right in the heart of Times Square. And we're here in this kind of a room because you have spent hours and hours and hours in rooms like this. Not only do we rehearse here, but we, I think we exchange energy and we exchange dreams and life and hopes, right? Like we, yeah. we, we met. So this is really, it feels right. So Louise, of course, you were in the original cast of In the Heights. Mm -hmm. So you were also on Broadway in Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown yeah. and Rocky and On Your Feet. And you also, you teach, you choreograph, you direct, you produce, you mm -hmm. develop new works all over the world. I don't understand how you have energy for it all. I don't know either. <laughs> I, I do think the universe that I feel like I have a lot of energy, mm -hmm. but in reality, yeah, it's human. Yeah. You get tired, but All it's right. fun. Okay, so, global goal number four. Quality education! Luis, what exactly is the goal of this goal? To ensure equality, inclusivity, and to promote a lifelong opportunity of education for everybody. Ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. What this is saying as a goal is that through education, we liberate the intellect. Yes. Therefore, we unlock our imagination. And this is fundamental for self-respect. Mm -hmm. Education is the key yeah. Yeah, to prosperity and it opens a world of opportunities, making it possible for each of us to contribute to a healthier society. Yes. Learning benefits <laughs> every human being and should be available to all. Absolutely. Was that clear? That was so clear. And I didn't Luis, want to mess that up. No, you nailed that. 15 years ago, you started an organization called Revolution Latina, yeah. which is absolutely crushing goal number four. <laughs> Please, will you tell everybody about it and why you started it? Uh, Revolution Latina is like a part of my heart. So the whole thing is to inspire and empower our community through the arts. And really, like when you talk about in the Heights was 15 years ago, Revolution Latina is now in its 16 years of like training so programs good. free of charge. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can really say, and again, this is aging me, mm. but I can really say I've seen the progress. Yeah. I've seen the progress because when we started, um, the idea of Latine community performing and presenting themselves as a group in successful ways on a stage like Broadway, mm -hmm. among others, mm -hmm. it sort of was unheard of. When you look 16 years later, our rhetoric and our reality in our yeah. world, especially in our world as an industry, mm -hmm. is very different, right? right. Like this conversation really of diversity, is. and now I see them because I'm auditioning them for the shows and right. I get hundreds and hundreds of Latinea performers yeah. being ready like yeah. I wasn't when I yeah. moved to New York the first time. Because you train kids, that's we what you're saying. We train kids and adults. And adults We just too. finished our adult training program free of charge. Yeah. We've got people from Peru, Colombia, Spain yeah. coming yeah. over yeah. internationally, having an yeah. experience again free of charge, yeah. becoming a community, learning the ropes of yeah. New York City, which is not an easy city, nope. through this exchange that yeah. we do. And so yeah. I'm, I'm and very And so what proud kinds of, of classes do you yeah. do? Yeah, acting, teach? singing, yeah. dancing, but we focus on being. Ah, oh, it is so important. And really, the arts, they're a critical part of Talk education. Talk about education and intelligence yeah. and yeah. intellectual growth. Okay, so, Luis. So now globally, if we widen the lens out from our community, mm -hmm. some of the targets of goal number four are... The targets! To ensure that all children have access to free, quality pre-primary, primary, and secondary education, including, of course, mm -hmm. Arts education. Absolutely. Boom. <laughs> Ensure equal access to affordable, quality, technical, and vocational education and university. Eliminate all discrimination in education for both learners and teachers. Yes. And ensure universal literacy and numeracy. Build and upgrade inclusive and safe schools. Absolutely. And often those schools are a main source of food for kids in marginalized communities. So that is goal number two, zero hunger. Expand higher education scholarships for developing countries, which is global, global goal number 10, reduced inequalities. And 
increase the supply of qualified teachers in developing countries. Okay, so these are big targets. Yep. And you might be wondering, what can I possibly do? What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solution's so out of our control that it's overwhelming, right? But you are not powerless. There is always something you can do, always something that is manageable We're for you in your life. We are powerless. We're not powerless. We are powerless. Sorry. We're not powerless. Yeah. There's always something you can do, right? So if we all just keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Mm. Yes, we can. Mm. Yes, si, we se can. Puede. E, si, si, se, se puede. puede. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you can always find a goal for charity and make a donation, big or small. Donate your used books. I mean, it gives access to knowledge and it's super important. Absolutely. Visit your local school and ask what they need and start a school supply drive in your community or in any community anywhere. Mentor young people. Like, like make Luis space for does. That. I mean, yes. so many people, I've been mentored by wonderful humans, yeah. including you. So, Aww, yeah, thank you. Course. Back at you. Boom. And then we pass it on. We pass right? it on. Absolutely. And always, stay informed and vote. 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 <laughs> vote. Voting locally, having a say in your local school board is critical. That's where school policies have an impact on your whole community, that's where they start. And if you care about making sure that kids have access to, say, arts programming, that means paying attention to local elections. All right, we always end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round. Let's start the clock now. What rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. Kevin Rosario in In the Heights mm -hmm. doesn't have the money, but will find the money and support. What's the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need to take care of yourself physically and mentally. The thing I need uh -huh. is boxing. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school dance teacher? They don't have to be a dancer. Is what you're no, I want Obama. Somebody... There we go. I just want Obama. Oh yes, God, we yes. can. Yes, yes we, we can. can. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? Oh my God, oh my God, tap dancing. <laughs> True or false? Theater makers, as storytellers, are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. 1,000% and yet. Some people do it to be on a microphone and some people do mm. it because they f Leaving it. Uh, since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to either star in, choreograph, direct, produce? Moving out. Ooh! Uh, I'm in a New York state of mind just thinking about yeah. that. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid, go. Under the sea, under the sea, that's all I got. Who's been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? My father, Sergio Trujillo. Ding! 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 Thank you, Louise. Thank you. Mwah. Oh, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you are ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. It's more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all of them in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. If we all just do the next right thing, together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world. Empieza donde estás, haz lo que puedas, vamos. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>